Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. It's in my business. I live my life. Help him. But opposed to the guys who out here doing all this dumb shit, jumping yeah. off tables or sneaking <laughs> or just you know, saying yeah. all types of stuff to get social media attention. But the people that do that stuff, they the one who really get the views. So you got people doing all, all this crazy stuff, yeah. and then you find out, yo, this person rap. Yeah. Yo, this person do this, and you tap into what they got going on, then they, they views and everything are just up. <coughs> but my point is, do you see yourself doing doing something outside the norm on social media to get that attention, to bring awareness to your brand, to bring awareness to your music? I mean, I'm not going to say out the norm. I'm just going to say that I'm going to put myself in the spotlight more mm -hmm. because, you know, I don't always publish what I do and I don't always go to Instagram Live or Facebook or Snapchat for every move that I make. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, cause I'm a very, you know, low-key person, so I feel like after I come out of the come out of the uh you know the shades and when I when I start getting light more mm -hmm. I feel like you know I'm I'm gonna get that buzz that that I want and you know that I need because as far as the the crazy shit that the that you say the other artists are doing and yeah. all that other irrelevant shit like this shit won't last so yeah like it it improved it to proving itself, you know, especially with um, our boy that's in court now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's definitely proving itself. Like it can, it can only go so far. And like, and when you do get to that peak, I feel like, like it's, I feel like it's, it's a, it's an avalanche after that. Yeah, yeah, we've we've seen whole a bunch of stuff because like I said, yeah, you can't get a little buzz and then that's the next day is over with. Yeah. No, I wanna take it. You know, you're with mile you. Yeah. Can you explain wait, what what is mile you? Um okay, so mile you is really um it's a label mm -hmm. but it's under the it's under the family name of Miles Society. Mm -hmm. Miles Society started the whole the whole um, brand recognition, the whole business side of everything. It just it just Miles Society is really a family, mm -hmm. and like my you is a branch of Miles Society. So when when you say my you, or when people hear my you, they should instantly think of you know a, a great label. Mm -hmm. You know, a great record label. So you and know, now, the artist signed to Ma You or the other? Who's all involved with Ma You? <clears throat> um, Ma You have a couple artists. You got, you got B Wise. You got Frankie V. You got V Huncho. You got E Mills. Um, and probably a, a couple more people. Mm -hmm. They they gonna. Yeah, that's gonna be on board in probably another couple months. And shout out to all those guys. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I mean, are they, are they, are these guys gonna be featured on your album? Do we have projects together that um, people know about? On this album that I got coming out October twenty fifth, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna have features from V Huncho, mm -hmm. B Wise, Frankie V, and. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. So we got that. Um, we talked about your upcoming album, yeah. Goldmine. We talked about Let It Go. Yeah. I um I was looking earlier. I saw that you have a two deep record. Yeah. Um, are you how, how consistently do you plan on being with with, with the release of your content? Not only the music, but do you have visual content on the way? Do you have like? Any other things on the way that the people don't know about? Yes, yeah, speaking of 2D, um, the video will be coming out soon. I can't give you a, a, a specific date, mm -hmm. but 2D video is coming out real soon. Um, as far as my video content and music, my music I always keep on. Like, mm -hmm. I have, I have a, 
like a full catalog full of material, some released, some unreleased, mm. like that I can I can drop on any given, you know, day, time, like I definitely had the material for it. Um cause, cause doing music and making songs like it's something that I'm so you know, uh so used to doing and my repetition is, is sky high so like if I if I just stayed in the studio like you know yeah. like most people don't do but should do yeah I, I say a track would probably be made every thirty minutes don't so like that thirty minutes yeah all right I mean I think a good track not I, not you know oh hey it's, I mean you got your process I'm not an artist yeah um I I speak with artists but I'm not an artist so I can't tell anyone how they should you know construct their music things yeah. of that nature. Yeah. No, but I, I definitely think, and this is my opinion, I think that artists shouldn't wait too long. Now, you with a label, I don't know if they control when you decide to put out music and not to put out music, but I think that since the content and the internet moves so fast, if you have all that content, just put it out. That's what I think. Yeah. I mean, at, the, at this point, that's why that's why I'm under my you mm -hmm. like right now, because they taking my, you know, career in a whole whole different direction mm -hmm. because I was I was a strictly independent artist at first dropping how, how you was mentioning it just once every six months maybe or yeah. you know and no one couldn't for me and my you showing me the way and how I should go about my business and how I should take control and you know oh, yeah. keep, keep my foot on the gas yeah so right now all right because I, I was just about to ask you that you was independent and and like you would admire you but if a if a bigger label was just to, was to decide that yo we want to reach out to friday like could like would y'all have to do partnerships or would you have would you be able to sign to a bigger label if you decide to or um <clears throat> i think uh my you as a label it was it was signed as a partnership mm -hmm. instead of just giving all of the artists and or just me or anybody like to that one one uh record deal mm -hmm. like because I feel like my you as itself is a is a great entity so mm -hmm. I feel like that's that's the biggest that's the biggest of it all like yeah. my you is sitting on top of a, a great foundation so I feel like the foundation can only be built like it shouldn't be shipped off and you know to another record label. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, everybody talk about that, especially on yourself. And if you, or uh, if you're under a label that that gives you the freedom to really put out stuff you need to, I definitely understand. Right, right. I do understand this. I want to say this, man. I mean, do you have, do you have any advice for anybody who want to get in this game? Of course. Um, for the most part, if 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 you're committed and if you and if this is what you want to do and this your dream and mm -hmm. you know you willing to sacrifice and do what you got to do to get to what you want in this music career mm -hmm. i feel like all you got to do is stay consistent yeah. consistency was the biggest thing for me mm -hmm. and i feel like now that i'm more consistent and more and you know more aggressive with all my moves and who i uh network with and who I talk to and how many shows I do and how many songs I do, how much studio time I need. Like I feel like, you know, I'm I'm climbing that mountain, I'm climbing that hill and I'm I'm slowly getting to the top. So as far as everybody who wanna do the music thing, just stay consistent and stay positive mm. if you consistent and positive keep the negative away mm. like you'll you'll slowly get there mm. like it it won't happen overnight but if if you're lucky enough it, yeah, it could happen happen. it could happen. happen overnight but most people aren't that lucky so to all the underground and everybody who's trying to jump and get to the top of that mountain just yeah. Just continue doing your thing. Stay positive. Yeah. yeah. Keep working. All right, too. Before I close it out, so I want to say this, man. I should have mentioned this earlier, but you coming from a small town. Small town artists don't really have 
too many resources like you do in a big city. Right. Like you can go on Google right now, Dallas Studios and find somewhere to go. Yeah. Folks come from Mansfield, you don't know nobody who has a studio. <coughs> but you feel like since you know you coming from a small town, like like now, I I gotta work harder, or just as hard as the as the guys. Obviously, when you have stuff at your if, if things are accessible to you easily, yeah. Yeah. you don't you don't it don't matter. You don't care. Right. But now you have the same opportunity, you have the same resources they do now. I can't speak on your money. But now you have access to their videographer. You have access to their new engineer. Like how do you feel about that? Man, that was that for me that was like almost the most important part of the whole thing. It's like back back in my hometown, it's like either people fuck with you or they don't. Or two resources to you know, coming out here to Dallas, you have thousands. Like when I first when I first made the move and made the transition, like it was down there people hitting me up, calling me because they seen what I put out on Instagram or on social media, all these uh outlets. So it's it's pretty much a hundred percent easier to find what you're looking for and to get what you're looking for. Rather than back in small towns like where I'm from, like it's 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 hard to find that help. It's yeah. it's hard to find people that ride with you, you know, to you know get where you're trying to get, and to help you, you know, yeah. cross over the over that bridge and you know try to make your dream come true. So I feel like everything just emotion. Yeah, and says you're right. You know, I'm from a small town. You know, yeah. I'm from Nagas. I've been all I ain't saying all over the world. I've been over the, I've been all over the US almost. Coming from a small town. But as soon as I tap into another city you got I can get content from everywhere opposed to being back home. You gotta be you just can't you just can't talk to everybody. You just yeah. can't do so. I definitely understand that. But I did remember you saying you miss Southern Classic. Man. So, <laughs> Y'all don't know about Southern Classic. For all you who don't know about Southern Classic, you should definitely take a trip to Louisiana. Uh, specifically Mansfield or Nagatish, but a hey, Southern Classic, you missing out. <laughs> Straight up. Best Straight chicken up. in the world. I think I, I, I do too. And I've, and I've eaten chicken. I've had Harold's in Chicago. Yeah, I've had been chicken. Everywhere. I have, I, I, yeah. I've had Roscoe chicken in Cali. I need all that. But, Oh man, if anybody want to find you, what's your social media? What's your Instagram, Twitter? Talk to them. Let them know. Um, for business inquiries or any contact for Friday, um, my Instagram is Mal University. Um, Twitter is Real Music underscore no Real Music Group underscore. Um, Snapchat official Mal U. And um. Yeah, email my university uh, at Gmail and my society LLC at Gmail dot com. Bet there. Yeah.